welcoming you to my fifth tutorial of Pascal programming language. We learned the components of a simple Pascal program in our last tutorial. Today we are going to code our first Pascal program. Before programming, we need to have a programming environment in our PC. So let's see how to set up the environment for Pascal. There are several versions of Pascal available for Gen 10 Pro such as Free Pascal, Turbo Pascal, Del C and Femo. But for my tutorials, I'll be using Turbo Pascal and DOSBox as my programming environment. Now let's install and set up Turbo Pascal with DOSBox. Go to Google or any other search engine of your preference and search Turbo Pascal download. There you will see from many besides. Probably the first one will be the website of searchworks.net. Go to that page and click on the download button. The installation file will be downloaded. Let's click on the installation file and it will start to install. I agree to the agreement after reading it. That's all. Once it's downloaded, launch the dashboard. Okay, now it's time for our first Pascal program. If you didn't check out my last video of the components of Pascal, please do check it out and come here again. Then it will be easier for you to understand this. Now here we go. We are done coding our first Pascal program which will display hello world on the screen once we run it. Now we are done coding, let's run it. Before running the program, we should always compile our code. Click on compile, once it's done, go to run and run the program. But it's not running. It has to work, but it's not working. There's not any fault either. Let me do a small change in my code. Mm, let's see whether it's working now. Yeah, it's working now. I purposely did this to emphasize the importance of the code I changed. User CRT is the change I made that I want to explain you about that. User CRT means that this program of ours is going to use the CRT unit of Pascal. Unit in a Pascal is similar to a library in most of the programming languages. To explain you this in a simpler form, it's like referring to another program of Pascal, which is already programmed to perform certain tasks. We are calling it here to perform that task. Clear screen and read key are the functions we are going to use here from CRT unit. Clear screen clears the screen which will be having outputs of the previous programs we run, while read key will hold the output screen until we press a key. And this output screen is called the command prompt. Okay, that's all for today. Hope you all understood how to install and set up Turbo Pascal with DOSBox and write a simple Pascal program which will display a simple string on screen. If you have any questions, suggestions or any ideas to improve, feel free to drop them in comments box or mail me. Until I see you in my next video, happy coding!